Yo, what is going on, you search and destroy savages? It's your boy Tupac, back again today with another episode of What Would Zeus Do? A series where I analyse a random player in Search and Destroy, but this time it's different. I listened to your guys' feedback. In my last episode, I analysed a random that wasn't particularly that great, but today we are analysing the one, the only, I Marksman. Now, you guys asked for me to analyse a more skilled player, so who better than I Marksman himself? I did ask his permission on Twitter, he didn't reply but he liked the tweet, so I'm taking that as a yes, I can analyse him. So here we are today, jumping on board with I Marksman, who seems to be pushing to the A side of the map, jumps in here, and now he's the only one on this side of the map, and you can see his teammates dying over at B, so I'm not sure what he's going to decide to do here, but I think he's on the wrong side of the map if the other team plan on planning the bomb. But that being said, he's already a 3v6, so he can't do too much at this point in time. His best bet is trying to get a few kills. Tug someone up there, and interestingly enough, doesn't decide to go out there and challenge him. He might have thought there might be more players around there, or maybe he just didn't want to challenge at all. But having first shot there, that's probably a gunfight I would challenge. But anyway, he does it the smart way goes to flank around and he catches him off guard. Now, the bomb is down, but he decided to walk over and punch him in the back, which is a good play. It wasted a few seconds, but that him doing that in a 1v6 scenario kept him off the minimap, so less people would know he's over there. If you're playing smart players, they will see the skull on the ground. They probably will be able to figure out where you are, but your majority player, if you go and punch someone in the back, you'll get away with it unnoticed. Now, after jumping up and getting that kill, he does need to get to the B bomb site, but if he had stayed in that direction and pushed from that way, chances are he would get cleaned up. He was red screening, he decides to back off and cut up middle, which is if, what his opponents probably didn't expect him to do. So he might pick up a kill in doing that, which unfortunately actually drops there. Jump, came around the corner, someone was on a god head glitch, a hard gun to win with a high recoil gun like the VMP, but his teammates literally got zero kills that round, and he just got tag teamed in middle. There's literally nothing he could have done there. Like he could have camped on that side of the map and played for kills, but Marksman's not a selfish player. Even though the odds were against him, I like the fact that he still played for the win. He pushed over to the bomb site, even though the, most of the enemy team was alive and it was only him. Good players that play for the objective is always good to see. A lot of your players would have just camped in that situation and played for kills, but good players like to play the impossible. Now, he's pushing down this wall run flank route. He's got a couple things he needs to be careful about up here. He's pre-aiming the wall run just in case they wall run, but if they're up top there or even controlling this box here, it's literally like a suicide rush. Route. Not a lot of people actually check it though. So what he's doing is pre-aiming down the wall run because you can stay on there ends up tagging someone up, and then there's a couple people in mid here. He should try to get out of there. Unfortunately, drops there. Now, as soon as he jumped up, that person ran past him. He luckily destroyed that guy that was watching for the red dot, but his best decision was to try escape and get out here, but literally, he was red screening. It was 1v3. There's literally not a whole lot he could have done in that situation. He played it how I would have. As soon as I got tagged up, won that gunfight, I would have tried to get out with my life. Like, he was one shot, so he wasn't going to take out anyone else unless they literally didn't have thumbs. Now, this is exactly what I wanted to see, and I say it all the time, mix up your strategies. Last time he pushed over to A, most of the team pushed B. He realised this, he gets the M8 class out with the Ebola pistols. He's lucky enough to get the Ebola pistols, as I like to call them. They have been nerfed now, so my hate towards them will recede, but he's pushed over to this side of the map. He knows his teammates in here, which is why I was trying to scroll to his teammate. So he, instead of checking that area where they could be pushed up at this point in time, he goes over the box way, which is the best way to push this area out. Keep in mind that where the enemies are is where they can be pushed up right now. They could have been in that room at the start, but his teammate's there, so he knows they're not in the room, but there is one climbing on top of the bin, as we did see, which is a really common spot. Nearly every round, there'll be someone on the bin. Jump on board with Markson, though. He sees one person, jumps up, and shoots that guy. That was a brilliant play right there. What happened was, he came around the corner. The enemy would have seen him get from there to there, expected him to come out the left side of that box. Instead, he jumps up and cleans up that enemy with a high caliber one burst headshot. Some nice gun skill there. Ends up outplaying the hell out of that enemy. But right now, he should be really careful of around this corner. Every time there's people playing here, I'm always super careful. Literally every time. It doesn't look like he's that ready for the gunfight. There's two people jumping in this. There's not a lot he could have done to stay alive there, even if he was ready for them. One being on top of the bin, one being on the bottom of the bin. But that's definitely an area you always need to be careful of, seeing as there's like literally always enemies in that general vicinity right there. 
So, so far, his only real mistakes is his over-aggression. But that being said, that's probably not a mistake. I have the same sort of play style. I'll play aggressive and not particularly the best decision-making and not making the best plays for certain scenarios. Like playing slow there would have been the best play. But high-skilled, aggressive players tend to play over-aggressive, which can, like, you can say it's an error, but they choose to make the, take the risks, like Marksman did there, end up getting cleaned up for it. But just keep in mind, like, I'm analyzing a skilled player that doesn't really make mistakes. He's a veteran in Call of Duty. Like, he might not do the best plays for the certain scenario, but he's willingly taking that risk, playing aggressive, because after all, he is an aggressive search and destroy player and a highly skilled one too. Anyway, it looks like it's pushing over to this bomb site. Keep in mind, he's got a Kimbo Marshall. So I'd be in this position here at the start of the round, pre-aiming with the Marshalls, guaranteed kills, but he might not decide to stay that way. He might go the right side, which is what it looks like. That box there's a brilliant head glitch, like cover area to take on people on top roof, but he sees someone on the bottom ground, gets the Ebola pistol out. This could have been before they were nerfed, I'm not sure, but I haven't played enough to see if they're still overpowered. Ends up cleaning the guy up there on the roof, using the bomber's cover. Search and Destroy is all about using the cover given to you because Call of Duty a lot of factors are involved connection and all that sort of stuff if you just play to the advantage like use cover in gunfights it will win you more like engagements like using the cover around you and playing tactical in search is always a good thing now he's on the war run he war runs as high as he possibly can there jumps into this building if any enemy was in there that ready for him he would probably catch him off guard like jumping in as high as he can like he just did there but the dumpster baby was in the corner and had his back to marksman so marksman picked up the easy kill there. Not a bad play at all. Now, it looks like Marksman's teammate picked up the final kill. Ends up winning that round. He picked up three that round, so not bad at all. Ends up taking out half the team and winning the round. Now, the game's tied up at 2-2 now. He's going back over to the B bomb site, which last time he was here was a high traffic area. So see what he decides to do. He's Pushes straight to this doorway, which is like the meeting point. Pre-aims. Now, he's got to be careful. I'd like to see him not push around this corner. Seeing as if you like, exit through doorways in Search and Destroy, like, it's always risky as hell. There's no cover here. You can see, actually, there's an enemy on a head glitch down there. Like, you wouldn't want to push through a doorway. Keeping in mind that Marksman's a skilled player, and he's willing to take risks rather than push over to this way, which is a better way to push it out, like he did last time. He'll probably end up going around this corner. It would be a hard gunfight to win. Actually, I didn't even see that guy on Marksman. Marksman screen. He ends up falling to that guy that was camping on that head glitch and like literally I didn't even see it on Marksman's screen. Like I don't think Marksman had an angle to actually see that player. So unfortunately drops there but keeping in mind he did push from a doorway which is like a disadvantage situation but Marksman's a skilled player willing to take risks. Now it looks like Marksman's going back over the B bomb site which is definitely the best bomb site to go to on breach. There's only two ways the enemies can come from. It can be annoying versus good snipers but like it's a, definitely the best bomb site to push out. Now, he's stunned here. His teammate ends up dropping. So he knows they're pushed up. Nade goes down, slides, and absolutely destroys that guy at the Ebola pistols. Now he's red screening, so I'd like to see him regen first. And ends up missing both shots of the marshals and getting taken out there. First time I've ever seen the pay-to-win marshals losing to the KRM. God damn, they must have been nerfed. Like I said, I would have liked to see Marksman sit here and regen after winning that first gunfight. He ends up running around and getting taken out by this guy while still red screening. But like I said, he's willing to take risks. He's not going to do the perfect situation every time. High-skilled players and search and destroy rushers love to like rush and make shit happen. Now, it's 3-3. Three, three. This is the round that separates the boys from the girls. This is the round that means the most and the one I'd like to see Marksman play out like more carefully than all the others. Like right now, he's literally seconds away from having active camo. I would wait before contesting this room which where players could be and like earn my active camo and use that to push this area out. But he decides, he doesn't decide to do that. He pushes straight in here. I would actually like to see him use that active camo and push this area out where there's been enemies every time. But I think he's pushed up here and I doubt you'll see him play too aggressive this time. He died last time through that doorway. He's a smart player. He's not going to go back there. He uses his box cover area to check if anyone's playing that zone. Now, he's got his active camo, and he's in a 2v4 scenario. This is game, set, and match if he loses 
uses this. He's not pushing out. He's playing smart this one round. Looks like Marksman wants to win. He even backs up here. Like, you don't want to rush out and die 3-3. You want to be playing smart and, like, give yourself the best opportunity to win. Gets the bowler pistols out there and takes the head off the enemy beneath him. So it turns into a 2v3 scenario. He's still at the disadvantage. Gets tagged up there. Decides not to contest. Smart play. Calls in his active camo. He's using the camo to get close to this enemy. He's got the dual wheel marshal, so not a bad play. His marker's a guy. Quickly swaps to his M8. And there's two targets here. It seems like a bit of a shaky burst there. Like he wasn't using the full RPM of the M8. He is red screening and it's now a 2v1 scenario, but you don't want to die right now. Like literally, you can never depend on teammates in Call of Duty. So he's got to play this one smart. Gets tagged up there, backs off now. I'd like to see him fully regen before he recontests that player, because that player would have the advantage on him seeing his red screening. He backs off, fully regens, and wipes the fucker out with the goddamn overpowered marshals. Carries his team to victory, clutches up 3-3. Good goddamn work there, Marksman. Backpacks his team to victory. Victory. Anyway, that is all for today, guys. Had the pleasure of analyzing Marksman. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that one too.